the 7.3 injectors today. Um, I've disassembled a couple of them just to show you. There's a lot of parts in these things. Um, the one right here actually acts as a little pumper. So it helps pump it up. Here's the new nozzle right here. There's several pieces in there. You got a pin, spring, shim. You got the actual nozzle. nozzle. Then you got the upper piece right there. So we're going to disassemble a couple of these right here. I'm going to show you how it's done. You know, I got brand new O-ring kits from Ford. I like the Ford ones better than the aftermarket ones. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put a couple of these back in and put them in the 7.3. We got a 7.3 that was having some issues. So we're going to go ahead and change out all the O-rings. Um, these have some rust on them. We're going to clean all that up. They've been sitting out for a little bit. And uh, get them back clean looking like that so we can get the O-rings on there and go from there. All right, here's the 7.3. I've been cleaning everything up. Cleaned up the top piece, a little spacer, and a broken solenoid on the top. So I've got a new solenoid right here. This um, actually is what releases the little plunger that tells the signal to send down there. All right, this is your main body, as you can see right here. The little plunger, this little booger right here, so it slides up and down, sends the fuel in there. There's a little plate inside of this. I'll go ahead and open it up and show you. All right. There's pins right there. Then there's a little check ball in there. See the little ball? So you have to make sure you get all this stuff back together just right. I'll go ahead and open one up and show you guys. see there's the check ball there's also a plate right here that goes in there that's got to be all cleaned and spotless you have to put in pretty much get everything back together in the right spot too you get something wrong in here make sure it's clean just just that little roll around there's a little teeny piece of dirt right there so I have to clean all that back up I've already cleaned the end right there the cone so the new injector is right there um, as you can see, it's got a spring, it's got a shim. Then this pin right here goes on the inside of that. So I'm going to clean this up and then start reassembly so you can see how this goes back together. Um, this is pretty much a 7.3. So I'm going to put this one out of here. I just pretty much get everything in a row. How they go. As you can see, make sure you keep all your pins together. I use a little bit of STP engine treatment to help hold everything together. So, alright. Let me get it all set up so we can clean a couple pieces and then um, assembly. Okay, I took this injector right here apart, so I'm going to show you exactly how we have to put this in there. Alright, I went in and disassembled another injector, so I'm going to show you. So you have to make sure it goes back in the exact same way. This is your plunger body right here. Okay, then as you can see, the way the notches are, the one check ball right there stays open for the flow. The other one right here has to go into the body of right there. The other two are your pins. So the other one stays open, and the top one right there, the little hole, goes into your body. As you see, the spring. Alright, you have your little pin in there, there's your shim, and then that will go right into your injector. So you have to make sure you get all these in a row, otherwise you get one of those backwards and you're, you're going to have a dead injector. So, now I've already reassembled the one, so now it's down to putting the O-rings back on it and doing the, do the O-rings. And then I'm going to put the uh, solenoid back on top. Now look, all right, now this one right here, I haven't changed it out yet. First one, you get the metal ring, just almost like a piston ring in a car. Your next O-ring down will be a square O-ring. Then you have the big fat O-ring right here. You have, have a kind of like um, a flattened out round O-ring that goes here. And then you'll have a little O-ring. So they, those all have to go and they're pretty much, they're self-explanatory O-rings. The only one that you can get confused on is this upper one. 
the upper one has to have the piston ring here you have to have the square one next and then you have to have the round one once those are done the other ones are self-explanatory um, you're going to have the copper um, washer that goes on the bottom these usually press on when you use the Ford if you use an aftermarket one they will not press on you'll have to use grease I always put a little extra grease just to be on the safe side anyways so let me reassemble put the rings on and I'll show you what it looks like all right, I'm going to show you why you never reuse your O-rings. I went ahead and pulled the one off, and well, if I can grab it, as you can see, that it's just that was just sitting in there. So, little of you were to put that back inside, it'd just be a matter of time before that comes loose and starts floating around inside of your fuel system. So, your on the 7.3, you have two rails. You have an oil rail, and you have a fuel rail. Now the upper one is your oil rail, but you still don't want that up inside of your oil. This bottom one right here where these are, this is your fuel rail. So two separate systems completely separated by O-rings. This O-ring stops it from going down into your cylinders. This O-ring keeps the fuel inside here and keeps the oil up here. So like I said, it's dual purpose. This one right here is pretty potent. A lot of times you'll get people that have a... Um, faulty o-rings like this one right here it'll let the diesel get into the um, into your oil so now got the last little section right here to clean up and then I'm going to put o-rings and put the top solenoid back together on this one um, you know this one is pretty much ready to go so I'll put this one in we'll drop it in the truck now the the back um, injector has to be an AE on the Ford trucks which is identified by see the AE right there um, Ford does that for some reason or another the the one injector requires a little bit more full, um, more on the solenoid and the shot on the inside of the stroke so that way it makes a little more power for that particular cylinder so let's finish cleaning this up with the other one together I've already just some of these are the new that's the new nozzle for the one we just disassembled so that one to go together next I've went ahead solenoids on top rings in square o rings in next o ring down there's the one that separates the fuel from the oil and then the final one so in the, in the forward ones I use these are the colors orange pink and then black all right I went ahead also the grease is down there that holds the o-ring in because otherwise it's guaranteed that it will try to drop off you should see where the plunger goes in there you should that's a little snap ring that holds all that together too you should see that's about what it should look like inside of your hole now I sell complete kit for these you can either ship me your injectors I can change nozzles for you I also sell the nozzles themselves, which are brand spanking new, not reconditioned. Um, I have cones, I have the O-ring kits, and these are factory Ford. It's cheaper than what you can get from the factory. I just buy a ton of them. So that one's done. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this next one to get it all ready. So I got three injectors on my driver's side that's going in, so that bank could be complete. Brand spanking new injectors. I also have high horsepower or 70 horsepower nozzles. So, um, have different sets of nozzles. So, just message me on uh, YouTube here. Um, if you got any questions on it, um, you know, just message me is all I can say. You know, if you, if you want me to build your injectors, that's not a problem. I also have a tool that is custom made so that you can take the cones off. Um, I sell those as well. So, I also have a complete kit where it's got all your O rings, all your nozzles and the little tool all involved so message me for pricing um, or go to my ebay and buy from there a quick note i want to show you something okay when you assemble your injector i assemble it straight up and down like this now there's a reason behind this okay as i take my cone and i stick it on it which i've already cleaned out so Looks like I missed a spot, so let me. I found a spot I gotta miss. Make sure you also get inside there. I have a little screwdriver that goes in there and cleans all that up. So let me finish getting that clean, and then uh, um, sometimes if it's really bad, this goes in my bead blast box. 
So that way when you get it back, it looks like brand spanking new. Looks like I missed a spot in there, so let me reclean this one up. Now, here's what I was telling you earlier. All right, when you have it assembled like that, everything is lined up. Let's see, here we go. All right, you got to make sure you're lined up in here. Um, so if you push down, and see, if you're not, if you're not there, you got a spring in there, it's got to push. So you got to make sure you can in the right spot. I sit this down and then I put my finger right here and hold it because I'll show you. You start spinning it, look at that. Your nozzle starts spinning around with it and then what will happen is you'll miss all your pins and break all your pins inside of there. And you got um, several sets of pins, guide pins. So what I do is I make sure I got everything lined up hold it down with my finger, tighten it until it's nice and snug. Actually, I usually do this in the vise. The vise is over on the truck. So, since I'm doing this at my sh at my lot, and not at my actual shop, I was just kind of showing you guys how this came up, and then I'm gonna tighten it up so this second injector will be built. All right, as you see, all three injectors are now built. All right, one thing I wanted to show you though, the AE, as you see the lettering right there, let's turn this around so you can see it. I can barely see it. There we go. AE right there is your number eight cylinder. So on the driver's side, um, that's your back cylinder closest to the firewall. This injector has to go inside of that. So we got brand new nozzles, rings, everything else. I have to clean up that screw right there. Missed that. So let me pull that off, get it all cleaned up, and then time to put it in the truck.